Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that.
Yama. Yama.
administration won't suffice, Sam. We need to act. And I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen. But surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. Ah, oh, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come on? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was... Hey! It's my home! No matter what you thieves call taxmen say! The gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bullets! We're coming in! Ah! Oh! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. For once, I dare the governor to send more. <laughs> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else.
on it. This is beyond what I Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this hey. fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers.
I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should... Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Nie się trochę. Ale dlaczego? Przecież ona nie ma w takiej obrobionej grafiki. Ale kurwa ma Ona ma 100% procent No ale widać nie moja karta graficzna nie wystarcza do tej grafiki. Hmm, tak, ale widzę, że jest zajebiście rozbudowany ten e, rzut słońca. Bo ja widzę, jak na przykład są pokazani, że to chodzi. Nie wiem, cienie, cienie są zajebiste, nie? No, cienie kole. Ale chodzi na przykład o to, że jak słońce pada powiedzmy na jakiś jasny przedmiot, to się taka aż rozświetla. Tak jak powinno być naprawdę, wiesz chodzi. No, kader. Kader fajnie. Tak, to jest ładne, że się robi, kurwa, że się robi. Musiał bym włączyć jakiegoś wirta, czy coś, zobaczyć po prostu ten. Uj, no to... Tu nie znam, że... To nie będzie... 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 To nie będzie...
Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. A 
some pathetic redcoats waiting for a beating. Ah! I will match your face to your jacket, Capune. Me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qui me la mise ma for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. m'oblige à fuir mon pays et les voici qui veulent s'approprier ma nouvelle demeure. Not it. Yes, are evil times. Best not stay here. You want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window.
bloody hell are you? <laughs> Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my foot locker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. 
Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help you. I'm yours to command.
Francisco.